Welcome everyone to another YouTube exclusive workout. Today we are doing an intermediate mat workout. No props, just a couple dogs that might or might not stay on set. So we're gonna begin with your feet about shoulder distance apart, standing tall, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, you're gonna flex the spine and just roll down and then roll back up. This is something we do seated. It's also something we do on some of the equipment like the Cadillac. So roll down and roll back up. I want you to take a big breath in through your nose and as you exhale, blow through pursed lips like you're blowing through a straw. It's gonna help you engage the deep core muscles. And again, breathe in and exhale to roll down and then come all the way back up. From here, we're gonna go into a little rotation. So you're gonna take your feet even wider and take your arms out to the side. We're gonna do the standing saw. So you're gonna rotate and breathe in and then exhale, flex down, sending your hand on the opposite side of your foot, top arm reaching toward the ceiling. Roll back up and come back to the center. Breathe in to turn and exhale, flex over, let your head drop down, inhale, come up and exhale to center. So the goal is to move the spine, turn the spine, but not the hips. Exhale, flex over, inhale, come back up, and come back to center. Let's do that again. Rotate, stretch over to that side. Don't lock your knees. Keep them lengthened, straight, but not locked, not hyperextended. And flex over, come back up, and come back to center. One more time on each side. Breathe in, exhale, flex over, come back up, and center now the other side. Rotate, stretch right over that leg, come back up, and back to center. Then side bend. Just reach one arm up, slide the other hand down your leg and stretch to the side, and come back up. Other side, reach up, and flex over, stand back tall, and come back down. Breathe in, exhale over, stretch. Come back up, and down, and reach up. Now think of lifting up and out of that side, and coming back down. We're gonna add a little hip movement here. So you're gonna come up. As you reach up and over on this top side, the bottom side is gonna to shift toward the other wall. Come back up. It's just gonna increase the stretch there. Breathe in and exhale, stretch up and down and again. Inhale, exhale over, come up and down. Last time, reach up and stretch over, come up and down. Now, bend your knees, put your hands right here on your quads, and we're gonna do a little standing cat. So you're gonna start from the tail, and you're gonna flex your spine from tail to head, letting the shoulder blades spread apart. Then you're gonna start from tail again, and extend all the way up through, pulling the shoulders back, sticking your butt out, and lifting your head, but not overdoing that head part. And then flex the spine, and C curve. And then lengthen, and pull back. Do that again. Exhale, flex, should feel really good. And lengthen. And last time, flex from tail to head, lengthen from tail to head. Now come back into a long spine line and take your feet even wider if you can and see if you can reach your hands to the floor. If not, keep them on your legs and you're gonna go from side to side. Bring your hands forward, a little Spider-Man stretch here. Stretch over to the side and then to the other side. And let's do four more and switch. And three, sink those hips a little further each time. And two and one. Now we're gonna come over to the right side and turn and back leg is straight and you're gonna lower the hips and lift them. Sink and lift. So getting a nice stretch on the hip flexor. We're gonna be doing some hip flexor work today. And one more down and up. Now let's turn this around and go to the other side and same thing on this side. Sink the hips and lift and lower and lift and one more time right down and you can just lower that knee down. Now from here we're going to come down onto the mat and we're going to go into a little bit of what we call the ab series. So roll down, put your spine in a neutral if you can, meaning the lower back isn't pressed down into the mat, there's a little space there. Bring your legs to tabletop, and we can do this either with your hands supporting your head or with the arm work. So flex up, you're gonna take one hand and reach it toward the inside of the opposite knee and the other hand toward the outside ankle, and then switch. And inhale and exhale on each one. Upper body stays flexed, and reach, 
and reach. That leg reaches out and low, the other leg comes in as far as you can without twisting your hips around. And we're gonna do four, and three, and two, and one. Now, what all we're gonna do is take your hands behind your head and add upper body rotation. It's called obliques or crisscross. And three, and four, and exhale, five, and six, seven, and eight. Now come to the center, and again, you can keep your hands supporting your head here, and we're gonna do our double leg stretch. If you're using your arms, you reach them up, and then you circle them back around. So you stretch away, exhale, inhale, come back around. Exhale, reach out, inhale, come back around. Legs can go as low as you can take them without letting the pelvis tip away from you. And exhale, reach, and inhale around. And let's do three more, reach, and around, two more. Stretch, and around one more time. Stretch, keep the legs straight, put the hands behind the head, and lift, and lower for five. As far down as you can go. And exhale, four, without moving the pelvis. Three, and up. And exhale, two, and one more. One, up, and place your feet close to your seat on the floor. Press your hips up and lower down. Open the shoulders, lengthen the back of the neck, and press up two, and down. And just lift right up, don't roll through the spine. Think of hinging up, pressing into the heels, using the glutes, and back down. Three more, exhale, press three, all the way down to the ground. And exhale, press two, and one more time. You're gonna hold it up there, take one leg and reach it up. Flex that foot, lower it down as far as you can without your hip tilting, and then lift it back up. Exhale as you lower, inhale up, two more. Down, and lift it up one more time. Lower, and lift, bend the knee, place it on the floor. Other side, reach it up, and lower, and lift it up one. Lower down, and lift it up two, and one more time, lift it, oops, four, let's go for four, sorry about that. And down, now lower your hips. We're gonna flip over, we're gonna do our double leg kick. Just a variation of it. Stack your hands, place your forehead on your hands, and knees will bend for three, two, one. Then straighten the knees, lift the thighs, lift the upper body, and turn the legs out. Come back together, pulse one, two, three. Now inhale, lift, and come back down. Exhale, one, two, three, and inhale, lift. Really squeeze the hamstrings as you pull the legs in. And lift. Two more times. One, two, three. Open the legs, turn them out, and lift them. One more time. One, two, three, and reach, and lift, and lower down. From there, just sit back for a second and flip over. And we're gonna go into a spine stretch forward. So your legs are gonna be Right here, about as wide as the mat, and flex forward, and come back up. As you flex forward, exhale, and pull your abdominals back. Inhale and lift up, and let's do that again. Exhale over, and inhale up, two more. Flex, and all the way back up, and one more time. Flex forward, pulling the abs back, and come up. Now, just scoot forward, Put your seat forward so you have room to roll back, and you can start with bent knees, hands behind the knees, open leg rocker. So flex the spine, breathe in, exhale up, lengthen the spine at the top. If you can, straighten the legs. Roll down, breathe in. Now roll forward, exhale, and lengthen at the top. Again, roll down, roll forward, and lengthen. And again, control, roll down to the upper back only, not to the neck. And again, and up. And one more time. Inhale, exhale up, and hold. Now bring the legs together, find your balance, lift the arms up, and roll down away from those legs. Let's do our teaser with our legs up. Lead with the arms, roll up, lift, and roll down. Lead with the arms, roll up, lift, and roll down. 
One more. Inhale as you come up and exhale to go down. Feet down and you're gonna push over here. And we're just gonna go into our swan dive, rock and catch. So legs apart and turned out and extend the spine, breathing in. Then exhale, rock forward, reaching the arms forward, come up and catch it. Exhale forward, inhale lift. And again, exhale forward, inhale lift. One more time, rock it, come up and just come back into a kneeling quad position and just flex the spine and release. Now come on up on your knees and you're gonna take one hand to the floor and lift the far leg, hand in front of the forehead here and side kick kneeling. Come forward and exhale as you go back. Inhale forward, exhale back. And again, come forward and reach it back. And two breaths in as you pulse it twice forward and one reach back, two more. Forward, keep the weight on the leg, not the arm and don't lock your elbow. And back, now bring it to center, lower, flex your foot lower and lift for five and four and three and two and give me five pulses. Five, four, three, a little higher, two, one and three circles. One, two, three, now three reverse, one, two, three, reach into that leg, pull yourself up, and let's go to the other side. Right down, and starting, hand in front of the forehead, weight on your leg, come forward for two pulses, exhale back, and forward two, and pull it back. And again, forward for two, or reach it back, and forward, and reach, now hold it, flex the foot down and up for five, and four, and three, two, and one. Pulse it, five, four, three, two, one. Now circles, three, two, one. Stretch that leg, three, two, one the other way. Reach, and come on up. Just sit back, Woof. And let's go into a little plank work. So leg pull front, grab the floor with your hands, and come into a plank, abs in tight, elbows, not locked. From here, lift one leg, breathe in. Exhale, hinge back, point back. Inhale, bring the leg forward. Exhale, lower it down. Other leg, lift. Reach back. Forward and down. Lift. Reach back. Forward and down. Lift. Reach. Forward and down. One more on each side. Don't let your hips lift. Keep your body in one straight line. Other side, lift, reach, back and down, knees down. From here, flip over, bend your knees. We're not gonna do the full leg pull, we're gonna do an intermediate variation. Hands on the floor behind you, feet close, knees bent, lift, one, and down. And exhale, two, and lower. And lift up, three, shoulders open, look straight ahead. Four, think of pulling up from the center. And five, we're gonna do three more. Six, and we've got seven, and one more time. Eight, and down, all right. Turn your legs to the side. Cross the top foot in front of the bottom foot. Hand on the floor, and a little side bend here. Lifting up, squeezing the legs together, one, and down. And guys, if you like this, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to us. Let's do one more. Inhale up and exhale down. All right, let's swing the legs around and we'll do this on the other side for three. So don't lock the elbow, grab the floor, breathe in, lift and exhale down. <sighs> lift up through the center, squeeze the inner thighs together and down. Let your head drop down to the side so your body arcs and down. From there, just have a seat and fold your legs. <sighs> Let's start with opening the hands and stretching back and giving yourself a big hug. And doing that again, reach and wrap. Two more. Open and wrap one more. Right back, that should feel good. 
on the chest and the shoulders. Now shoulder rolls up and back, breathing, and up and forward. And from here, just grab the opposite knee, sit tall and rotate, look back behind. A little rotation stretch, other side. One more, breathe in. And again, breathe in, and a little bam, bam. Stretch over to the side, and the other side. And everybody knows we're done. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this workout, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, I really appreciate it. Bye.